How to Configure Ant in Jenkins. You may have numerous applications that use Ant. That also means that you probably have to support numerous versions of Ant. In this video, I'm going to show you how to simply and easily make multiple versions of Ant available to your Jenkins pipelines. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.332.2, and attached to this controller, I have a Linux-based agent. Now, when this controller was installed, it was installed using install suggested plugins. And one of those suggested plugins is the Ant plugin. So let's go verify that the plugin is actually installed. Let's click on Manage Jenkins, Manage Plugins. We will go to Installed. And we can see here at the very top is we have the Ant plugin version 475. So let's go set up our first version of Ant that we're going to configure on this controller. We'll go back to Manage Jenkins, Global Tool Configuration. We'll scroll down to the Ant section. We'll click on Add Ant. And for this first one, we're just going to say install from Apache version 1.10.12. So for my name, I'm going to give it 1.10.12. Let's go ahead and click on Save. And let's go create a new pipeline to test this out. So let's click on New Pipeline. We'll call this Ant Pipeline. Click OK. And we'll paste in a very simple pipeline script. We're saying Pipeline Agent Label Linux. That's the label of the agent that's attached. We're specifying a tool of ant 1.10.12. The 1.10.12 is the name that we just created. And then we're just going to run ant version. Let's click on Save and click on Build Now. And what we can see from the output is at the very top, we are unpacking archive Apache org all the way down to ant 1.10.12. And it's taking that zip file, downloading it, and extracting it into our agent into the tools directory under the ant installation subdirectory with a 1.10.12 on it. So when we run ant version, we can see that we've got ant 1.10.12. So next up, what I want to do is I want to configure ant to point at a specific version of ant that I already have installed on my agent. That version of ant was provisioned by using Ansible. So let's go back over to dashboard, manage Jenkins, global tool configuration. Let's scroll down to Ant, and we can see now instead of it saying Add Ant, it says Ant Installations. We'll click on that. I can either click on Add Ant at the top or at the bottom. I'm just going to do the bottom. For this version, the version that I'm going to install is 1.9.16. That's the version that I already have installed on my agent. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uncheck Install Automatically, and I need to specify Ant Home. And the location for my Ant Home on the agent is opt tools ant and then apache ant 1.9.16. Let's go ahead and click on save and let's go back over to our job. We'll click on ant. We're going to modify the job to point at 1.9.16. So 9.16. Click on save and click on build now. And if we take a look at the output of two, we can see that there was nothing downloaded this time. But if we take a look at the output of ant version, we can see that it's 1.9.16. Finally, I want to set up one more version of Ant. Let's go back over to Dashboard, Manage Jenkins, Global Tool Configuration. We'll go down to Ant. We'll scroll to the bottom just to be consistent. We'll click on Add Ant. And the version that I want to install this time is 1.8.4. I am going to install automatically, but I'm not going to directly install from Apache. You'll see why I'm saying that in just a second. So I'm going to delete this installer but while install automatically is still checked, and I'm going to go ahead and click on add installer and select extract star.zip or star.tar.gz. For label, I'm specifying Linux because that's the label of the agent that I have. When I select that, it says label Linux matches one node. So that's good, it found that agent that I want to use. The download URL can be any download URL. It could be on a server that you have or someone else's server. For my example, I'm actually going to be downloading from Apache, but it could have been anywhere. So I've specified here Apache Ant 1.8.4. I'm going to tab out of the field. And now, because I've done this before, I know that when I extract this tarball, it's going to extract into a subdirectory. And that subdirectory name is Apache Ant 1.8.4. So I need to go ahead and specify that in the subdirectory. Let's go ahead and click on Save. Let's go back over to our job. Modify it one more time. Let's change the 916 to 8.4. Whoops, don't need that. Let's click on Save and click on Build Now. 
And what we see here is that it's downloading the Apache at 184 from the URL that we specified. It just happened to be Apache and it extracted it into the same as the 1.10.12 tools, Hudson, Ant installation. And then when we run Ant version, we see that we have access to 1.8.4. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.